Hello and welcome back to the channel. This video is geared towards people wanting to go off-grid using solar energy. I'll break this down into three simple steps. First, we need to calculate your load or power usage. Second is the battery capacity calculation. And third, sizing your solar panels based on your location. Let me give you a simple example in calculating this process. 1200 watt hour battery divided by three sun hours requires 400 watts of solar panels to charge that battery. You probably say, is that all I have to do? Before we go any further, we have to ask the following questions. Like, what will be running on this battery? What type of battery is it? How many sun hours are there where I live? What are the efficiencies of my inverter, battery, and charge controller? I will explain all this, so let's get into it, shall we? First step is to list the loads that you're going to be running in your home, like your TV, your fridge, lights, an internet router, and a well pump. We must now calculate each device power usage and estimate the daily run time for each of them. If you have a device that runs less than that, say once a week, you can divide the power consumption by seven days to get an average. Don't forget to add the inverter's idle consumption depending on the model you purchase. Remember, this can be 10 watts for a 400 to 500 watt inverter and up to 30 watts for a 4 to 5,000 kilowatt inverter. This time will be about 24 hours for that inverter. We then multiply the power consumption by how many times we run the devices per day. If you have less than an hour, we take the minutes, which is 15, and divide it by 60 minutes because that's an hour. Then we will get a value of 0.25 hours. If the pump is running for 15 minutes a day, we multiply 300 watts by 0.25 hours and we'll get 75 watt hours. We then add up the total amount of watt hours, which comes to 2,803 watt hours. Now that we've figured out our load per day, let's turn our attention to how many batteries you will need to support the load. Are you still with me? Now, before we continue with the rest of the video, we have noticed that over 97% of viewers are not subscribers to our channel. We humbly ask that you join this channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the videos. To all that have subscribed to this channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it will help us to make more videos like this. Okay, back to the video. In step two, we must decide how many days of autonomy we want. A good measure is about three days, so you can still power your loads when the sun is not shining or it's raining. Remember that more autonomous days you have, the more batteries you will need. So we totaled our loads and come up with 2,803 watt hours per day. So we multiply by three days, you will get 8,409 watt hours. We will use lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are more efficient than lead acid batteries. Now we'll do the calculations for the LFP or LiPo4 batteries. They are about 97% efficient. We can discharge lithium iron phosphate batteries down to 100% and after 6,000 cycles, still have 80% remaining capacity. To calculate the formula, we need to take 8,409 watt hours divided by 97% equals 8,829 watt hours. For a 12 volt battery, you will need 6 690 amp hours. For a 24 volt battery, you would need 344 amp hours. And for a 48 volt battery, you're going to need 172 amp hours. In step three, we need to size the solar panels needed to charge the battery in one day. We must figure out the sun hours for your location. Let's say you live near Lake Michigan in Lansing, Michigan. Here is a sun hour chart for that location. We can see that November, December, and January have the fewest sun hours. If we have to size the solar array for these months, we will need more solar panels, which will increase the cost. But if you have the funds to do so, then go for it. We will need a generator to supplement energy to charge the batteries during those low sun hour months. February is the month we can use to calculate based on three sun hours. Sun hours is a measurement of the amount of kilowatt hours per square meter per day. Your solar panels are rated at STC or standard test condition at an irradiant of a thousand watt per square meter. So we can use this to do our calculation without using an efficiency factor. All these numbers are monthly averages. To charge a lithium iron phosphate battery from zero to hundred percent, we take the 8,829 watt hours divided by three sun hours equals 2,943 watts. We then divide that by the charge controller efficiency of 95% and we get 3,098 watts or 4,000 watts of solar panel. Now that you have seen how to figure out the number of solar panels needed, how does this change your perspective on setting up or upgrading your off-grid solar system? 
Do you think you are more confident in planning your own solar install? Please let me know in the comments below. If you have found this video to be helpful, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, take care.